A British teenager has emailed scientists NASA to tell them that their readings are wrong. A level student Miles Soloman found a fault with radiation sensors on the International Space Station ISS. The 17-year-old spotted that the ISS sensors were recording false data during a physics class and promptly messaged NASA with a correction. Mr. Soloman, who studies at Tapton School in Sheffield, said it was pretty cool to email the space agency. NASA is said to have appreciated the student's feedback and invited him to help them resolve the issue. Mr. Soloman spotted the error while sifting through NASA radiation readings as part of a project from Institute for Research in Schools, IRIS, to give students the chance to work on real data from the ISS. Tapton Secondary School in Sheffield has been taking part in the space project run by IRIS with genuine scientific big data provided by NASA. Pupils have been able to study genuine measurements taken every four seconds by microchip to monitor levels of radiation in space during the six-month period when Tim Peake was in space. Miles is studying physics, further maths and chemistry for A level and jumped to join the project. What we got given was a lot of spreadsheets, which is a lot more interesting than it sounds, Mr. Soloman told BBC Radio 4. I went straight to the bottom of the list, and I went for the lowest bits of energy there were, he said. Mr. Soloman's teacher and head of physics, James O'Neill, said, We were all discussing the data but he just suddenly perked up in one of the sessions, and went why does it say there's minus one energy here? The teenager spotted that when the sensors were not picking up any radiation, they recorded a negative reading. But Mr. Soloman pointed out to his teacher that you cannot have negative energy, so they contacted NASA. It's pretty cool, the student said. You can tell your friends I just emailed NASA and they're looking at the graphs that I've made. The detectors first began recording radiation during British astronaut Tim Peake's stay on the ISS in December 2015, meaning Mr. Soloman had spotted an error that had eluded NASA experts for over 15 months. NASA told him that while it was aware of the error, its experts had thought the data blips appeared only once or twice a year. But the student informed them it was happening several times a day. Professor Larry Pinksy, who works with NASA on its radiation monitors, told Radio 4, My colleagues at NASA thought they had cleaned that up. This underscores, I think, one of the values of the IRIS projects in all fields with big data. I'm sure there are interesting things the students can find that professionals don't have time to do. The professor, who works at the University of Houston, said Mr. Soloman's tip was appreciated more so than it being embarrassing. They obviously think I'm a nerd, the teenager said. It's really a mixture of jealousy and boredom when I tell them all the details. He added, I'm not trying to prove NASA wrong. I want to work with them and learn from them. The director of IRIS, Professor Becky Parker, said this sort of expansion of real science in the classroom could draw more school children to STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, mathematics. She added, IRIS brings real scientific research into the hands of students no matter their background or the context of the school. The experience inspires them to become the next generation of scientists.